who inspired me to write this book is the best example in music history of someone who creates an experience. Jimmy Buffett. Wasted away again in margarita bed. 208 word song about, about getting drunk. Searching for my lost shaker song. And it's made him millions of dollars. Speaking of experiences, what do you think Harley Davidson sells? It's not motorbikes. Harley Davidson sells the badass experience. Owning a Harley is like admission into the badass club. And the proof is in the demographics of the average Harley owner. The average Harley owner is a man approaching 50 who makes close to $100,000 a year. That is not the profile of an actual badass. If you go through the ACDC song catalog, you won't find a single song about the plight of starving children in the developing world, or a song about the angst you feel in your heart when a relationship goes south. Nothing like that. What you will find over the course of 17 studio albums are 24 different songs with the word rock right in the title. I love the Red Bull brand for the risk it takes. They're constantly taking risks. Remember a couple of years ago, they threw a guy out of a spaceship? They threw Felix Baumgartner out of a spaceship, 130,000 feet in the air with a parachute on. Somewhere, there's a guy in legal at Red Bull who went, hmm, okay, why not? What could possibly go wrong? It turned out okay. Red Bull got incredible amounts of publicity over it. But someone had to take a smart and calculated risk. And you remember how Pete Townsend of The Who ends every concert by smashing his guitar to pieces. At 70 years old, he still smashes his guitar at the end of the show. It would be easy to write that off as a stunt, as a gimmick the Who does. But I think it sends an incredible message to the fans in that arena. That that night, Pete Townsend played the life out of that guitar.